Is Velvet in there? Uh, y yeah, but now's not the best time. I'm here. Dry up. Break time's over. The Leggets have arrived. You know what that means. Another Scarlet Night. Losing your nerve, Velvet? I think not. Don't worry. Leave Shigure to me. Where's Kurogane? Here with me. Kurogane and I will cut Shigure down. And Aizen. Sorry, but Melchior's mine to eat. Got it? Got it. But at the very least, you're gonna let me watch. Magulu, you do whatever you want. Go nuts out there. I'm always nuts! <laughs> Benwick, when you see your chance, take the others back to the Von Eltia and await orders. Aye, aye. <laughs> Luffy said? Let's go! Eleanor, keep Lafayette safe, please. I will. Worry not. Let's move. We go to kill the Exorcist Legates and engulf this world in the flames of chaos! Alrighty then. Let's move out! Have a good trip! See you soon, Kay! The Howling Calamity. Let's, well, I need to hear this. Proof of the will to finish the fight against the Exorcist. Once all is devoured, it will be done. Alright then. Let's go take ourselves down to some maggots. Of course. Yeah, say our final farewells. Works with the Abbey told me about this one weird class four island. And I guess get class four islands while we're here. And when they came back, they were laid up in bed, having awful nightmares and saying strange things in their sleep. What sort of things? Stuff like the walls moving and attacking them, fairies flying in front of them, all kinds of weird. Couldn't those just be demons they saw there? Hey, I ain't done. Towards the end, they were talking about not wanting to see people's backs, that they hated them. They hated backs? What could that mean? I don't know. That's what makes it so strange. Maybe they saw the back of some demon on the island, and they don't want to be reminded. Your guess is as good as mine. But if you do decide to go, you'd best watch your backs. Noted. If we do. Also, I see that the music died down. That's kind of lame. Don't worry, Kamawana. There's nothing to fear here. Fear? Are you scared about something, Medissa? You can tell me about it. I'll listen. It's just us here, and my lips are sealed. Everyone knows I'm good at keeping secrets. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll tell you. All right. Go on. Velvet and her friends left to go fight one last battle. It's a really important fight. For you, for me, and for everyone in the whole wide world. How important is it? More than I can even imagine. And right now, nobody knows how it'll go. Or what will happen afterward. That sounds scary. It is. That's why I was thinking of praying for you to be safe, sweetie. No matter what happens. But it just feels strange to do that. Strange? Why? Well, my god was someone who'd take away the feelings of those who prayed to him. <laughs> That's silly. Wouldn't he get lonely if he had nobody to pray to him? Yeah, I think he would. I think I understand. Something really big is about to happen and you're worried because you have no one to depend on. Don't worry, I'm right here with you, Medissa. And so are Dial, and Orthy, and Russ, and even the Rhino Stagros. So you're not alone. Kamawana. Or... 
Maybe a kid, a lizard, two dogs, and a beetle aren't much to depend on. Ouch! You know, I think I can count on all of you more than I can that god at this point. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Better than a god? I'm not sure I'd go that far. But if I'm ever in danger, I know my mom will come rescue me. I know <laughs> she will, so don't worry about me. You're right. Your mother will protect you. I promise. Yep. I know it! Oh, Kamoana, Medissa. Surely there's some way we can save Kamoana and the others. I couldn't tell you. I just feel like I have to do something for Kamoana. And we still haven't even told her that her mother was, you know. <sighs> Poor little thing. Oh, yeah. I just want to come over here. Oh, Grimoire. Hey, teacher. You managed to decipher what the ancient book had to say about Inominat's awakening, didn't you? Right after we escaped from Titania, yes. I'm just sorry it wasn't of much use to you. Oh, come on, Grim. I'd say it turned out all right. That's not for you to decide. You're not seriously blaming Grim for all that. No, I'm not. But I'd still like to know anything more specific about Inominat. Please, tell us what you've learned. Alright. What Inominat needs to fully awaken isn't a large quantity of malevolence, but rather the quality of it, in eight types. Specifically, he needs despair, hatred, greed, conceit, lust, obsession, cowardice, and selfishness. If each was assigned to a single Therian, then Velvet would be hatred and Kamoana greed, right? Medissa would be conceit. Teresa is lust. And Orthrus... obsession? And cowardice for Griffin. That leaves the Rhino Stagros with selfishness. But Artorius was trying to steal despair from me. How does that fit in? Eight types of malevolence and only seven Therians. It definitely doesn't add up. Whatever the case, it seems obtaining this Eighth Malevolence is the final obstacle before Inominot's full awakening. I see. That would certainly explain Artorius' behavior. His plan was to foster profound hatred within Velvet, before plunging her into despair. And he used her brother to do it. If that's true, gathering all the Therians served a greater purpose. Right now, the Abbey has no means to collect despair. But with Teresa dead, shouldn't a new Therian have taken her place? Yeah. But after we killed her, the Abbey still went out of their way to try to capture me. That must mean they haven't been able to secure the new Therian. And even if they did, it wouldn't have despair. That's a good point. Artorius spent three long years trying to foster the despair within you. If that is indeed the specific type of malevolence Inominat needs, it must not be something one can find overnight. Right. We need to attack while there's still time. Indeed. Yet... Is something troubling you? Yes. It comes down to the very idea of quality where malevolence is concerned. When you talk about the relative quality of something, what you're really talking about is its purity. That would mean that Therians pick out and devour this pure malevolence. Yeah. But malevolence by its very nature is impure. Therefore, for some person or creature to become a Therian, they'd need to be responsive to a purity of impurity. Surely few could ever meet such a stringent criterion. So we don't need to worry so much? Oh, but I think I know someone who fits that description. Perhaps a certain succession of top exorcists who have tried to suppress and purify the spread of malevolence. You don't mean... It's just a concern. For now, at least. Something tells me I don't want to know. Also, something I'm just re remembering. I probably should hit the ship, shouldn't I? Get the ship shop in ship shape. Take a look at this. Perfect win. Ooh! And one final island, the Cheagle Island. Why does this look familiar? I uh, know. This island, also known as the Isle of the Thing, is home to a fire-breathing secret beast that can predict the future. Hmm. 
Paraffins and islands interior emit a miasma. Or miasma, sorry. I know it's pronounced differently depending on the person, but you know. Scout ship setting sail. I guess one pop pile place to set sail is great. Now, where were we? Head outside, I believe? Hmm. Or just head to Mount Killerus. Which I'm assuming is to our right. Yep. All the way over there, then. Let's make our way there. Nope, can't go up there. If I can, let me do this. Let's so go up here. Up here again. And there it is. There's the gateway. And away we go! I think. Nope, we are just in the church. Not even close. Get or the sanctuary, to be specific. Then we probably gotta go to the Guybrook Ice Field, don't we? The one on the very right. Okay. I like how they're playing Velvet's theme here, of all places. If only I could just use my power to seal Enominot. Looks like you're raring to go, eh, Lafayette? Just don't be too eager to help, okay? You've got a bad habit of trying to play the good guy. Oh no, I'm not a good guy. I'm a selfish, wicked little boy. A oh, boy. Oh, is that so? But if you acknowledge your own selfishness, then it's something you've chosen for yourself, right? Yeah. Then we have that in common. Now, all that's left is to follow your own creed. Only that. Besides, I'm a demon. Even if you were the worst of the worst, I'd be like, cool. Thanks, Aizen. Thanks, Rokuro. <sighs> Velvet. Don't give up on Lafayette just yet, okay? So, you were eavesdropping on us at the inn. Heavens! I never knew a Praetor to be so utterly shameless! Uh, all right, I was. But that's not what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say is... I know. No matter how selfish you are, life's empty without anyone to share it with. Correct. She's got a point. More than anything, I don't want to give up. Not on myself. Where's the love by then? Let's go! Not even bad. Alrighty. We'll save right on this new save point. Our old save point, soon be new. Now, what do we have here? <coughs> what is all this? <coughs> oh, calm down. It's just steam. Really? Oh, I get it. Mount Killeros is melting the bottom of the glacier. Of course, of course. The heat and the cold are engaged in a feudal war. Just like someone I know. Why not worry about the path you're taking? The path I'm taking? Oh, hot! Wait, beneath this ice... Is boiling hot water. How can you be so calm right now? One false step and we're poached! Probably. If you don't slip, you won't die. For the Reaper, you're certainly optimistic. <laughs> Where's that famous apathy of yours today, Mogilu? <laughs> Who cares about apathy? Especially when I got friends as depraved as you! <laughs> Back away, spirits! The sky. The snow. It's all red. So this is a scarlet night. Pretty strange, isn't it? It's amazing. <laughs> uh, it's not like I'm happy about it or anything. If you're worried about Laffy or Celica, you don't need to be. I was just wondering what makes the moon turn so red. They say the Crimson Moon is a gate to beyond, and is proof of humanity's sins. A sign of sin, huh? 
Maybe the moon drinks up the innocent blood spilled by the wicked. My, it would take a wicked mind indeed to come up with something like that. Please, don't say such frightening things. A scarlet night occurs whenever a full moon is in a certain position. The land and the moon pull at each other, and Earth Pulse energy spills into the sky, turning it red. Yes, and the amount of power is said to create enough mana to affect even an Empyrean. So it's basically so an equinox. The is done on a scarlet night. Or an eclipse. But the world of humanity is violent, and the Earth Pulse is stained with all the blood spilled throughout history. So Rokuro's theory might have hit a little closer to the truth than expected. <laughs> oh, a wild guess hits the mark. Don't get used to it. It sure does look grim, though. Yeah. Mm. Back off, big boar. I'm not in the mood. I can feel a powerful earth pulse flowing inside it. It looks like we can reach the core from there. Hmm. And then let's do just that. And I'll save before this point, save myself all the time in the world. There we go. Volcano! All right, Velvet. I think it's time you let us in on your plan for how we escape if and when the volcano erupts. There is no plan. Oh, what? Then even if we awaken the Elemental Empyreans, we're still toast! I'm not going to die. Well, I'm super happy for you, but what about the rest of us? I'm sure you'll all make it. Don't you think you're being a bit blithe? I doubt there'll be an eruption at all. We'll only be using the volcano's life spring to push souls into the Earth Pulse. I don't think that should have much of an impact on the volcano's activity itself. Well, if you say so. That's a load off. Aye. But the ancients also say that when the four Empyreans awaken, there's a great shift in the Earth. If they're angry about being roused from their slumber, I don't think a volcanic eruption is something we can rule out. See? What did I tell you? Really, I'm sure we'll be fine. If the volcano erupts, we'll just deal with it. <laughs> You're starting to sound like Velvet. <laughs> you look sure of yourself, but I'm still nervous. It may be best to write up a will. Aizen, do you have a pen and paper? Yeah, but I'm using them. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. You already know how this will turn out, right? Oh, so you figured that out. It wasn't hard. Besides, it's not like you have anyone to give a will to. Oof, way to cut to the quick. <laughs> Oh man. Uh, the hilarity ensues. Now then, what's in these two directions? Mr. Lefty here says there's a treasure chest and maybe some cat souls nearby. While the righty says that's the pathway to go kill some leggets. So we're gonna take the left path first and see if we can find ourselves some, uh, you know, something that can help us in the battle. Maybe some kind of elixir. Or at the very least a new weapon. Who knows? And an item? An arcane bottle, mysterious potion of sword analyzed uh, BG by two. That, that could be helpful. A little bit anyway. Dun 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 Hey! Let's see if we get into a battle. I'm kind of bored right now. Blood heat. I'll end this quickly. How vicious. Ooh, level 53. Okay. And I'll see you into water. Let's see. That would be circle, right? Not hurt, are you? 